Welcome to the Scanning Single Crown video with iTero Element Intraoral Scanner. This video provides an overview of pre-scanning instructions. Once you have filled in the RX and chosen restorative settings, you're ready to start scanning. To ensure a successful scan, the margin of the preparation must be fully exposed, clean, and dry. There are different acceptable methods for gingival tissue retraction. The best practice uses a method that pushes the gingival tissue away from the tube, completely exposing the margin before you begin the scan. The best practice for moisture control uses an air syringe and suction to clear any fluids or debris from the margin. In this case, the method chosen is double cord retraction. Let's review how the margin line should appear on the scan. The margin line should be visible on all sides of the preparation. For that reason, it's necessary that the margin is mechanically separated from the gingiva. Moisture contamination such as blood and saliva may interfere with the visible separation in the scan. It's important to dry the area immediately before scanning. The single unit crown scan includes four segments or scanning steps. Preparation, preparation arch, opposing arch, and bite. You can move between segments with the directional arrows on the touch screen. Note that tapping the arrows on the screen allows you to move from segment to segment. Let's start with the preparation, in this case for tooth number 19. This segment includes only the prepped tooth and captures the full margin in all sides of the prep, including the occlusal, lingual, buccal, mesial, and distal surfaces. The key to scanning this segment is to start on the occlusal and use one smooth, steady motion to move from surface to surface. Turn on the wand and start scanning. Once the occlusal surface is captured, Roll the wand slightly lingually to capture the lingual. Next, maintaining a steady pace, roll the wand back over to the occlusal surface and onto the buckle, while keeping the wand horizontal to the teeth to capture the buccal anatomy. To capture the inner proximal walls, place the wand in the occlusal area and lift up the cord end of the wand to capture the distal wall. The opposite movement, dropping the cord down, ensures the capture of the mesial wall. Stop the wand and assess the scan. Look for any missing anatomy. Confirm the position of the preparation by moving the green dot to the center of the occlusal surface. Let's move to the second segment, preparation arch. In this segment, we will scan the quadrant of the arch containing the preparation. The interactive scanning feedback will identify which teeth must be captured in this quadrant, depending upon the location of the preparation. In this case, tooth 19 is the prepared tooth, so we will scan the lower left quadrant. To move to the next segment, tap the directional arrows on the touch screen. Place the wand over the most posterior tooth. Activate the wand, moving forward across the occlusal plane and stopping at the cuspid lateral area. Then roll to the lingual surface and lift the cord end of the wand to tilt the wand vertically and show the long axis of the teeth. This allows you to twist the wand slightly back and forth as you move toward the posterior area capturing inner proximal anatomy of the lingual surface. Next, roll back over the occlusal to the buckle, keeping the wand horizontal at a 45 degree angle. The lens should maintain contact with the buckle cusps of all the teeth in the quadrant. Stop again at the bicuspid lateral area. One aspect of the preparation arch segment is acquiring the contact anatomy. Once the preparation segment is captured, continue to capture the contact points. Capturing the contact points ensures that the lab is able to fabricate the crown with adequate contacts. 
An easy way to capture the contact points is by moving the wand until it is completely perpendicular to the arch as shown. This allows your wrist to turn back and forth. When you twist your wrist back toward you, you capture the mesial contact. Turning the wand in the opposite way captures the distal contact. Let's move on to the next segment, opposing arch. Tap the directional arrows. Place the wand on the most posterior tooth. Activate the wand, moving forward across the occlusal plane and stopping at the cuspid lateral area. Then roll to the lingual and lift the cord end of the wand. Now tilt the wand vertically to show the long axis of the teeth. This allows you to twist the wand slightly back and forth as you move toward the posterior area, capturing the interproximal anatomy of the lingual surface. Next, roll back over the occlusal to the buckle, keeping the wand horizontal at a 45 degree angle. The lens should maintain contact with the buckle cusps of all the teeth in the quadrant. Stop again at the cuspid lateral area. The bite registration is the last segment and is essential for a perfect fit. It is recommended that the patient sit up in order to record an accurate bite registration. Retract the cheek with the sleeve and insert the wand parallel to the buccal aspects of the teeth. Hold the sleeve with two fingers. To start capturing the bite, activate the wand and move slightly up and down to capture the gingiva and three teeth in a wave motion. The purple coloring on both upper and lower segments of the arch indicates a successful bite registration. The scan has been completed at this point. You can go back to any section by selecting it from the menu. You finish the scanning process Tap the mode icon to review the completed scan. Once the scanner finishes post-processing, it displays the occlusal view of the model. The occlusal clearance color map appears to help the doctor access occlusal reduction. The occlusal clearance will show the model from the occlusal if the preparations are in one arch. If both arches have preparations, the display will be from the buckle. When you want to adjust the occlusal clearance of the prepared tooth, tap on the tooth highlighted in blue to see it displayed. Be sure to rotate the tooth to the buckle view before using the eraser tool. Select the occlusal clearance icon to visualize the area to be modified. Then select the eraser tool. Draw a large circle on the model of the area to be modified. After erasing the desired area, tap the sleeve icon to rescan. Make sure to select the sleeve icon that is part of the eraser tool and not the sleeve icon at the top of the screen. Next, tap the view mode icon to see the modified model. Rotate the model to assess the margin line from the inside. This is called the negative view. Looking at the negative view of the virtual model is equivalent to reading a conventional impression. Toggle on the upper arch to assess the bite registration and occlusal marks. If the patient closed with enough pressure as described in the bite registration chapter, you will notice the areas where both virtual models are in contact. Look at the area highlighted on the screen to see that there is a contact point at the cuspid. Reviewing the prep segment to ensure the complete capture of the mesial and distal surfaces of the adjacent teeth is critical to creating a properly fitting crown and reducing the need for adjustments. Currently, you see the model rotating to assess if the contact points are solid and if there are no voids in that area. Review the preparation in color. Let's check that the margin line is clear and that there is no debris and moisture contamination, such as blood and saliva on it. Turn the model 360 degrees to review the margin line from each aspect of the tooth. Toggle the model to monochrome and review it from both perspectives, positive and negative views. 
Note the mechanical separation between the gingiva and the margin line. If you can assess the margin line with ease, your lab technician will also be able to do so. There are small areas where the gingiva is not detached from the tooth. For such scenarios, the negative view is the perfect way to assess the margin contour. Toggle the preparation segment lower left quadrant to analyze the contact points. Note that some voids are present, but they are away from the contact point area. If a specific preparation surface is cut short or expands into neighboring teeth, the preparation separation tool can be used to ensure that the preparation is isolated properly. The preparation area should be highlighted in dark yellow when the tool is activated. This tool has addition and subtraction modes to isolate the preparation from the rest of the arch scan. Tap the envelope icon to send the case to the next stage. From here, you can go back to rewatch any topic in the menu. Remember, you can access the case via the myitarot.com portal on your computer and proceed with the notes from there. It starts with iTarot, 